Hey guys, what's going on? It's Eli, back with another review video. And for this one, gonna be reviewing the Kim Possible live-action movie. And, oh man, you know, cause, um, cause I gotta say, well, with Kim Possible, of course, you know, I love Kim Possible, of course, the animated, the animated series, um, some of the episodes, like, um, I think one of my few, cause, with the animated series of Kim Possible, it, you know, I loved it, I love it and such, you know, um, this, they're really good episodes, and the movies were really good, um, I think one of my favorite episodes, one of my few favorite episodes from Kim Possible have to be a dimension twist, like, that was, you know, um, that was where, like, Kim, Ron, Draken, and she go, they go through, the, they enter in the TV and such, and, uh, go for different tell, uh, uh, shows, like, they wound up, like, in a parody of Friends, which is Pals, and a parody of Star Trek, which is really funny, and the other one has to be Emotion Sickness, that's where, like, Kim and Chigo, they are, they got, like, something on their necks, like, and they're being controlled by, by a remote and such, like, different emotions and such, just, like, mad or just, cr uh, just crying and such, and just hap, and just, like, flirting in love with, you know, with, uh, Ron and, and Draken, you know, but that's a good one, too. All right, as, and so, yeah, so the animated, it, Kim Possible, the animated show and such, I love it, and, and so on, and, and with the, the movies, yeah, they're really good, too, and with the live-action movie, I gotta say, I freaking love this, this movie, I, I think it's the best Disney, Disney Channel, Disney Channel original movie I've seen, like, okay, um, I remember, I remember, like, because, as I remember, there was a video that was on YouTube that they did. It was hilarious. Christy, uh, Romano, Christy Carlson Romano, and What's-His-Face, who plays Ron, that was, f it was funny that they, they came in and auditioned for Ron and Kim, and the creators of the show were just like, uh, are you 15? Or just like, yeah, you're not, are you, are you kids? Or whatever, just something like that. Um... And it was funny, and they, that was where they even announced it, um, the, the two actor, the two main leads of, you know, the two main actors who play, uh, Kim and Ron, and, uh, uh, um, what's her, what's her face who plays Kim? She does an outstanding job as Kim, um, yeah, she's really good, uh, the likeness, of so the live-action likeness, I guess you could say, of Kim, she really pulls that, um, what's his face who, pl what's his face who, who pl plays Ron, well, A.K.A. Adam Goldberg, yeah, because of the Goldbergs, yeah, he did a really good job as Ron. I think he fitted that role like, like a glove. I think, um, you know, because, and I think they, I think I remember when watching the movie, they did the joke where grappling gun such, but he it pulls his pants off. Yeah, I think I, I think I remember seeing that. But yeah, so um, just um, yeah, so he fit. I think he did a really good job as as Ron, and, uh, Patton Oswalt as, uh, Dr. Dementor, or Dementor, if I'm saying that, I think, if I'm saying that right, um, yeah, it was really cool, in fact, yeah, I remember, I think, he did the voice of, of, of the villain that he played in the animated series, and it was funny, he came back, he, he reprised the role in live action, that was really cool, and Christy Carlson Romano, her cameo in that film, that was pretty funny, she was like, uh, famous star, like, uh, singer, something like that, you know, pop star, I don't know, something like that, and, um, Athena, yeah, Athena in the film, like, well, um, spoiler alert, like, I don't know, like, she's like an android, or like a robot, or something, um, she kind of betrays, she at first betrays Kim and, and Ron, like, just, you know, and kind of works with Drak and Shigo, but that's when Drak and Shigo, they kind of betray her, and, that's when she, I guess, Athena's redeemed and such. Um, but yeah, Athena, yeah, she was okay, yeah. It was an interest. it was interesting how the movie went, like, like, because Athena was getting more f attention or just something, and Kim Possible, Kim, Kim Possible was just a mess, like, lost her talent, like, lost her skills and such, just literally, um... Even, like, learning to fight with a stick and such. I, it's, I forget how, what the word is, but, you know. Um, another, another thing is, um, with Dr. Draken and Shigo, oh, they were really good. They were really good. A good likeness to, in, in live action, I think, in my opinion. 
Yeah, what's his face who plays Draken? He was good, and the actress who plays Shigo, she was pretty good as well. Um, and it was funny at the end that Draken, at one point, like later at the near the end of the film, like he he kind of turns into a kid and such. It's it's pretty funny. Um, another thing is that uh, the appearance of Rufus, the naked mole rat, you know. Uh, I see, yeah, I was kind of, for a while, we didn't hear anything about, we didn't know anything about, we didn't hear anything about Rufus being in Kim Possible, but that was when, uh, like, Disney Channel and such, they came out and, and just, like, with a trailer and such, and, like, people, like, showing co people commenting, commenting and such, like, where's Rufus? Where, we didn't see Rufus, and their, their, their reply was, you know, you think we forgot, you know, you think we forgot, or so something like that, and, um, they released a trailer with, centering around Rufus, and with Nancy Cartwright reprising her role as Rufus, oh, wow, yeah, that was really cool, that was awesome. Of course, of course, it would have to be Nancy Cartwright, a.k.a. Bart Simpson, it'd have to be her. Um, and, uh, Wade, yeah, Wade, the kid with the computer and technology and such, and, like, uh, contacting Kim and so on, and informing her about Draken or whatever, the enemy, the enemies of Kim Possible, yeah, what's his face who plays Wade? Like, well, he's on uh, uh, Raven's home. Yeah, he was kind. Of, he was pretty good as Wade. Um, another thing is that, uh, of course, like with the opening of the movie, like uh, it had the theme song to it. You know, I'm your basic average girl, and I'm here to save the day. You know, that yeah, of course it had to. It had to be in there. And of course, one of the famous one of the famous lines from Kim Possible. So what's the sitch? You know, it had to be in there as well. Um, and as for the rest of the other characters, like Kim's family, like her mom and dad and her twin brothers, they were really, they were pretty good too. Um, and it was nice to see, and Kim's Nana, yeah, her Nana, yeah, it was, yeah, she was good too, and it was really cool that Kim's mom and, and her Nana, like, they, they got to join her along with Ron and Rufus, you know, to take on Draken and Shigo, and to save Athena and such. Yeah, that, that was really cool. So yeah, with Kim Poss the live-action Kim Possible movie, I give it uh, uh, 8 out of 10. Uh, either 7... Uh, hmm, that's a toughie. Uh, uh, boo, ooh, that's a toughie one there. Uh, I give it uh, 8 out of 10 stars. What the heck, you know, why not? 8 out of 10 stars, because I really enjoyed this movie. It's really good. I think the I think one of the the, the few best uh, Disney Channel original movies. It's just it's just really good. Just really good. Alright guys, so with that said, uh hope you enjoyed this review video. Again, eight out of ten stars of the, the Kim Possible live action movie, eight out of ten stars. It's really good. If you haven't seen it, you should definitely go watch it. Even if you're a, a Kim po if you're if you're a fan of Kim Possible and such, I, it's it's really good. And if you haven't seen it yet, just definitely go watch it. It's it's really good. So with that said, guys, uh, again, hope you enjoyed this review video. Be on the lookout for more new review videos coming your way. They're gonna be awesome. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Peace.